afternoon welcome back to a uh, a chilly it's sunny sunny though <laughs> a chilly uh Chiron in the southwest of france yeah it's been another day of uh sunshine and showers and uh, yeah a bit frustrating really trying to get stuff done although to be honest with you to be honest with you i haven't felt like doing much i've done a, a little bit of faffing today um i went out and bought a um it's not a concrete block a block for the um the bedroom Remember when I took the sink out, someone had installed the sink in the bedroom uh, on like a Cellcon block, like a Durox block. Do you know what that is? It's, um, it's like a block. It's not concrete. It's like a plasterboard type block, really heavy. Oh, it's really nice material. It cuts lovely and it's really easy to sand and it's really nice. Anyway, I, um, yeah, I had to replace it because I smashed it to bits, the one that I took out. And uh, yeah, had the, uh, had the air force flying over the house all day long today that's not annoying um practicing for the war that we're not allowed to talk about um so yeah i've uh, i've uh, installed this block uh ready basically to put like a shelf on it in the corner of the bedroom a couple of shelves and then i've got a box in the uh, water meter so yeah just been faffing really um not felt good today felt quite sad felt sorry for myself all here on my lonesome um yeah really missed dave today really missed him um yeah when i when i don't know whenever i just felt like getting out and getting some fresh air i'd come out into the field and uh, you know pat him on the head and you know get my get my fingers out of his mouth <laughs> you know um, but i know he was a grumpy old git but i kind of miss him so um yeah really really sad i have actually left a note uh for his owner uh, to see if there's any chance that I might be able to um, go and see him if he's in the locality, you know, if he's still with us. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to see. Yeah, people don't quite, some people don't think the same way as me when it comes to animals. I say, I won't say any more than that. So, whether I'll get a chance to visit him uh, or whether that's a possibility, I will let you know and keep you updated. So, uh, yeah, just been doing a few bits and pieces. I uh, did, did a bit of fencing, repairing. Um, repairing around Dave's shelter I had to put a bit of um, barbed wire back and just to just to sort of get that fence sorted really keep the neighbors happy and then I'll put a, a bit of um, maybe chicken wire I've got some I've got some fencing left over from the chicken run to um, to uh, put around underneath the uh, barbed wire so yeah I've just come down to my uh, my bottom field and uh, yeah it's quite a nice evening actually so uh, I did got to talk to you got to talk to you um, I yeah, I was out in the garden looking at my uh, vegetable rows and at the beginning of October, I think I did it on the 1st of October, I sowed some uh, lettuce seeds and I planted some potatoes. Uh, I think I did two or three batches of potatoes in October, but I think the first batch went in, in uh, on the 1st. And yeah, that's the sort of stuff that should go on my other channel. So yeah, I was out there today and what I did, because the weather's been so bad, I actually moved that little cold frame that I made over the uh, lettuces and uh, they're surviving and thriving. It does look like I might actually have lettuce throughout the winter, which is pretty awesome, really. Um, and the potatoes have started growing as well, which is a, which is a bonus. So yeah, I've been thinking, <laughs> this, uh, this new channel that I started, uh, I kind of feel bad in a way that I've not, you know been out there and been really enthusiastic about you know showing what I'm up to I'm not really doing too much to be honest you know it's November there's not a lot going on in the garden but I've got to fess up I'm not I'm not enthusiastic about a garden channel I can't I know I'm like the weather and I do change my mind people say oh you're always changing your mind I go well yeah I think everyone just changes their mind sometimes don't they um, it's just that I get to uh, I get to talk about it <laughs> you get to see me talk about it um, but I do like the idea of a garden channel but having a YouTube channel is a creative outlet uh, it's hard to explain I mean there's people out there that uh, watch this channel that um, will understand what I mean it's like I haven't really got a very creative bone in my body, but when it comes to the YouTube channel, it's, I know there's like hours and hours and hours of work goes into creating a video. Uh, a minimum of two or three hours. I mean, some videos take six or eight hours to put together when you include all the filming and uh, uh, moving the camera around, editing and whatnot. And the garden type channels, 
you know, there's like hundreds of clips um, and it takes an enormous amount of effort. So you've got to love doing it. Well, I love playing in the garden. It's like my hobby. Um, yeah, my hobby is, is the garden, not filming myself playing in the garden. Does that make sense? I'm not enthusiastic. I'm not enthusiastic about doing it. And you really need to have 100% enthusiasm for your efforts. Do you know what I mean? I'm just like, yeah, I know I have this channel. But imagine you liked, I don't know, painting in watercolour and then someone said, oh right, you, know, you should do, you should try abstract. And you try it and you like it and you kind of commit to it. You go, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do abstract. You go, well, actually, I don't mind doing the abstract painting, but I just don't want to show you that I'm doing it. Does that make sense? Very hard to explain. Anyway, the point I'm making is I haven't got the... Uh, enthusiasm <laughs> I've got the enthusiasm to film myself enjoying my gardening hope that makes sense so I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who supported the channel uh, you guys out there absolutely amazing and uh, I have actually treated myself well I've ordered a uh, an electric blanket to go on uh, the mattress of my bed and uh, yeah looking forward to that turning up uh, although I have been using a hot water bottle and it was suggested that I use a hot water bottle in the comments and um, I don't mind a hot water bottle but I think yeah a little bit of um, little bit of comfort would be nice I um, I got out my heavy quilt the other day and uh, yeah that's made a difference as well and uh, yeah I'm getting snug and warm for the winter um, had a bit of an issue actually I haven't spoken about this but I, uh, I went to the dentist last week and uh, yeah, had a, uh, had a crown fitted. This was last Tuesday, and it's been going on. Uh, it's been going on for ages, isn't it? This tooth malarkey. And uh, yeah, so I had the final crown fitted uh, last Tuesday, and it hadn't it hasn't settled, and I've not been able to eat. When I had the temporary crown, I could eat no problem. It was it was not an issue, and I didn't didn't even know that I had that tooth in my mouth, you know, and I just ate normally. Uh, so anyway, yeah, this uh, new crown's gone in and I can't eat on it. It's painful to eat on it. And uh, when she was fitting it, if you've had a crown fitted, you'll know how they do it. Um, they sort of like dig a foundation in the original tooth and then they put in like a metal pin and then the crown sits on the metal pin, uh, which is all glued together, glued to your original tooth, what's left of it. And... Um, and what they do, they put the pin in and then they put the crown on top and then make sure that your bite is okay and make sure that it's, it's fitting okay. So they put the tooth in and then you bite down and then they take it out and they tidy it up and, they, and they, over and over. So the, two, the crown went in and went, came out again about five times to be fitted, you know, when, during the fitting process. And on one of the occasions, she put the crown on the pin and I bit down on this uh, like uh, piece of paper which marks my tooth so she knew where to uh, grind a bit of tooth off just to make sure that I had the correct bite. And when she came to take the tooth back out again so she could grind it down, it didn't want to come out. And it was not coming out, it was in there and it had just locked itself to this metal pin. And so what she did to get it out, she, wore, she used something like a pair of pliers with a slide hammer and, and pulled it out like that and then ting 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 and pulled it out and it was uh, you know it was quite a big deal and um, I don't know what I think she's done by doing that she's actually loosened the original tooth and so when she came to getting the tooth in for the final time she glued it all into place I actually think the base the base of the tooth the original tooth is now loose I think she's actually pulled, she's actually pulled the, the original tooth out of the, the gum. You know, I think she's like made, a, made a bit of a mess. I, I don't know what the situation is, but anyway, now I've got pain. I can't eat on it, and so I sent them an email saying, "How long should I wait? You know, should, will it settle down?" Uh, and they said, "Oh, can you come back tomorrow?" And I'm like, "Oh my god!" So that'll be the fourth time I've driven to the dentist in the last month. Um, yeah, it's like. I can't really afford to be doing these 75 mile round trips. But yeah, what am I gonna do? I don't even know what she's gonna do. I'm gonna get there and what can she do? Uh, what's the situation? You know, I've just spent I've just spent seven or eight hundred quid having this done. And if the original tooth's now loose in the gum, it's all gonna have to come out and go in the dustbin, isn't it? I mean, it sounds like an absolute catastrophe. So yeah, anyway, so I'm gonna be driving all the way to the dentist again tomorrow 
and uh, yeah just a bit of a faff isn't it anyway i thought i'd give you a bit of a heads up yeah not been in the best of best of moods today felt very uh, very down in the dumps didn't need to get myself a cat don't i, I need to get myself a dog or something can't really pet a goldfish but yeah i need to uh, i need to have something going on anyway hope all is well leave some happy and helpful comments that'd be uh, that'd be nice see you later